Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here with a little craft with me. And before we get started, I wanted to say hi and hugs to Angela, Tori, Pat. Pat is, she said, a long time uh, watcher of my videos, but just to, uh, just subscribe. So thanks for, thanks for that, Pat. And then uh, also Joy, and Joy asked me in my Destroy a Journal video if I ever got mad or angry. She couldn't see me getting mad or angry, and I do, I do, Joy, but I try to handle it constructively. <laughs> So thanks to all four of you for your comments, and I appreciate you watching. So I want to introduce you to my new project, which is this little golden book. It's one of the, the new ones, everything I need to know about love, I learned from a little golden book. And this project is for Donna. She sent me the book, and... Oh my gosh, Donna, this has been an interesting project already. Who knew? But these new ones are, let's just say they're very sturdily constructed. <laughs> oh, it was really hard to get it apart. And it was hard to figure out what I was going to do with the pages without ripping them to pieces. And so, but I'm there, I'm there. So that's the good news. So um, I have t taken it apart. What I did was I extended the uh, front and back pages by about an inch just with chipboard. I just added chipboard on and my usual chipboard spine. Um, and I did a three inch spine because these books have a lot of pages in them. So it ended up there's there's six uh, signatures, and I think the first one has three pages. The rest of them have four pages, and I had to kind of figure out what to do. Normally, I would have spread them through the signature, but I mean they are stuck together. And if I would have tried, I would have ripped the pages, and it was important to Donna to have the pages. So how I uh, how I solved that issue was I just, I have all of the pages from the book. They are together just like they were in the book. See how they're, they're just, they're attached. <laughs> so I opened it to the middle and in the middle is where I'm going to put all the different papers for um, Donna's journal. So I've started doing papers. That's, that's where I'm at with it. So, um, so yeah, six, six signatures and I have a ways to go with paper. I, I know I made it extra chunky, but this journal is for Donna to keep her memories of, um, of her husband and finding her, finding her Mr. Right. So I know she's going to have a lot to put in here. So I'm going to give her lots of pages and, uh, lots of room to work in this book. So anyway, uh, let's see, let me tell you that I, the papers that I decided to work with in this one are um, the Blue Fern from Lots of Bubbles for Me. Uh, it's the Heartland collection. I have a few of them still here to show you. And they're just super pretty. They've got hearts, but they're not like overly hearty. <laughs> And then, um, so those are the ones I have left, and I've already um, put several in in the books. Like there's that blue one, um, and then the other thing that I've done is with the cutoffs. I've just made little flaps with the cutoffs. So I've kind of started, and I was going to continue, and I thought, well, I'm just going to turn on the camera and craft with my friends. So I got these. Um, these are cut to the size that they need to be for the book, which um, because these are so wide, I think these are like six and a half. Are they six and yeah, six and a half, um, a 12 inch square piece of um, scrapbook paper. You can keep the whole width of, you know, which is kind of cool. 
So anyway, I cut them down to, I think it's eight. Yep, eight tall. And I have the cutoffs, but on these I thought I'd make pockets on these before I put them in. So I'm going to do that. So we'll, we'll get to that in a second. Then the other thing that um, Donna requested is if I could do monarch, monarch butterflies and cardinals a little bit in the book. Um, they are meaningful to her. And so I found these are a couple of um, Tsunami Rose printables. These are some printables from Artie Mays' Butterfly Madness collection. So, um, our digital kit, I mean. And so, I'm going to put, I'm going to put those in the book. And then, I found some Christmas paper that had cardinals. So, I also have some napkins of each. So, I want to do a few things with napkins uh, with those too. But, so these are more papers to include in the book. So then I started rummaging through, and I really just did a quick rummage through my, um, through my old stash of papers, older stash of papers, and I had this uh, Authentique, and it is the Cheerful Collection. And there's some great things in here, like... Um, the perfect ingredients for a day together. Um, love bug. You are very special. You know, there's, there's some fun things. And then I found this paper at Hobby Lobby that is the same collection. So I thought I might use, I, I love it too. It's bright and cheerful. So I might use it as kind of half pages in the book too. So there's that, and then um, some other random, and these are old, you guys. I probably got these when um, my craft, local craft store went out of business. So there are a variety of different things, but they're old, so I don't even know if they're around anymore. But this one was Love Story. This is a Blue Fern Studio, actually, but I got that long ago. Then celebration this one's called I liked how plain it was because she could journal on that found this bow bunny it's called Madeline I just I liked it and I liked this side especially because it has one in a million and happiness and stop and smell the roses so I think that'll be a cute one to use in it this one's Kaiser craft key to my heart collection I just liked the paper this is Seven Gypsies. I wanted the life is good part. Even though the colors are kind of off on that one, but that's okay. And this is Lost and Found 2. My Mind's Eye, Lost and Found 2, and Blush Sweet Bouquet Paper. So I just like the paper. So we're just going to work on getting some more papers put in this little book. Um... Yeah, so here we go. Uh, let's let's work on the ones I've already got cut. I think that might that might be good. Um, <laughs> and I have stories to tell. I do have stories to tell today because <laughs> so um, yesterday my husband and I went and got new phones. Awesome, right? That's fun. And. Um, so when I got ready to do the craft with me, I'm like, ooh, hoop, I get to get, because I filmed on my phone, right? So I start filming and I'm babbling away as usual. <laughs> and I look at my phone and it is literally out of battery. And I'm like, what? I had it plugged in last night, so I don't know what happened there. And, um, so anyways, went upstairs and, and found that, um, you know, we had a new plug-in and the, the cord part wasn't into the part that plugs into the wall properly. 
So there you go. When that happens, you don't get any juice. <laughs> so it was out of battery. So I said to my husband, can I use my old phone? Will my old phone work? And he said, oh yeah, because we saved our old phones because we'll give them to our, grand, our oldest granddaughters, right? Oops. What am I doing? Think about what you're doing, Gail. <laughs> Quit talking. Um, and so, so fine. So anyways, I grab my old phone, come down, get all ready to, <laughs> get all ready to do the video, videoing. And sure enough, it has um, hardly any battery. <laughs> So long story short, I am filming this video on my husband's new phone. <laughs> he was really nasty. He says, why don't you just take my phone and just get it done? Because um, I wanted to do a craft with me and, and show you guys my new project. And he was he's thinking he'd like to watch a little football, which is like right by my craft room. So I can't, you know be filming and have the TV on. You guys wouldn't hear me. You'd hear the announcers. So that, those are going to be cute, aren't they? Just big pockets. Yeah, I'm liking them. So we'll, I'm setting those just kind of over here to dry. Um, yeah, so anyways, it's this video is a long time coming and I was like, well, so then the other thing was, is this morning, I finally rearranged my living room so that we can use the fireplace in the living room. And, you know, I've been saying I was going to do it forever and I just keep putting it off because, you know me, I'd rather craft than do housework. But this morning I thought, you got to buckle down. You got to do it. And I'm doing laundry, so it was kind of a house day anyway, right? So, um, so anyways, I did that this morning and so, um, I didn't get any crafting done this morning. So, um, I was like, I really want to do a craft with me. And then I was thinking, oh, I could, I could skip a day, but you guys are so sweet. And you tell me that you miss when I don't do one every day, which I love to do one every day because I craft every day. So it's like. You know, it's just a little more time getting organized to, to do the video, but but that's all. So, you know, it's like, might as well, might as well do a video. So, anyways, all that to say, I really wanted to do this video, even though, <laughs> as you can see, there's not a lot of substance to it. But, you know, we're just crafting together, and so and so that's good, so... I really did have fun doing my living room. I forget how much I enjoy, you know, sort of refluffing our living space. You know, that used that used to be my my for a lot of years. That was my creative endeavor because I'm raising my kids, my four, I didn't have time to do much other crafting. I mean, I did some sewing and stuff, but. Um, and I crocheted and did things like that, but um, nothing like what I do now, which is kind of the blessing of this time of life. <laughs> kind of get to do what you want. Uh, so anyway, um, but I, you know, I would take a whole weekend and just like redo everything. And I had Mary Inglebright magazines that I subscribed to and I just would see her pictures of her house and want mine to look just like it <laughs> and everything but okay so actually I wanted to kind of go through my book and see I guess it's gonna be I don't know that it matters. I think I'll I think I'll put these in here though. So before the the coffee died. And with six signatures, I kind of handle it like I did my multiple um my multiple journals. Let me grab my bone folder to 
get that nice and crisp. Um, I kind of do it like doing the multiple journals in that I just do every signature pretty much in the same order. Now, granted, they'll have different, there, you know, there'll be different um, papers in it. So, but, but yeah. So, okay, that one was the, what, red. So, let's do this one. Yeah, so I have been working really hard today. <laughs> this is like my resting time. Um but that is also another one of the blessings of retirement. My husband actually said this. He said, you know, the great thing about retirement is he said, you've had changing the living room around on your list for a long time, but it doesn't really matter when you do it. <laughs> like, bless you for saying that because um, it, it needed, you know, the nice thing about rearranging it is you can, you can also um, really clean, you know, like I did. I found this wood polish stuff for wood floors at TJ Maxx that, what is it? It's something like, I think it's like Bailey and Parker or Parker and Bailey, something like that. And it is good stuff. And, you, you know, you just spray it on and with a just a slightly damp mop, go over it. And man, does it make those floors shine. <laughs> I'm looking at them like, oh my gosh, I really should have done this a long time ago. You know what? I'm going to switch those because look at how that's just purple just like that. I'm going to switch these two signatures, I think. That one's a little, little different. Okay. Anywho, yeah, so did that this morning. So I'm feeling... Oops, I stole out the, I stole the coffee dyed paper out of that one. Okay, yeah, so anyway, been busy. And um, it was supposed to rain here, which was kind of part of my thought was, you know, it's supposed to be a rainy day, so, you know, I, Got it all rearranged and lit a candle and all of that. And now it's not supposed to rain. So I don't know. <laughs> I keep trying to cozy down for the duration. But but then it just blows around us or whatever. I think that's what it's doing. Okay. So then this one. Um, so the other thing I did besides going through my papers was I kind of started looking at ephemera. Um, I think it was you, Jean, that said, you know, um, I, she looked at one of my older videos where I was working with some ephemera that I had and she said, um, something about, looking at your old ephemera and, you know, kind of making it fit, um, a current project, you know, like, you know, do, do some layering on it or, you know, foo-foo it up a little bit to, to go with a current project. And I thought, oh, I need to do that because, you know, it's like she said, we get big stashes and that's a good way to whittle them down a little bit. Okay, so did that. Let's, um, just while these are here in handy, let's do the, uh, whatever I did with them. Let's do the ones from a tattered dream, or not a tattered dream, uh, the ones from Tsunami Rose and, uh, Party names. Where's that one? These are going to be a little funky, but that'll be that'll be fun. Let's see. So we have one, two, three, 
four of those and two of these. Okay, so we'll just kind of pop these in between. Okay. So where in the book would we like these? I think I want them more up towards the front because I have some coffee dyed paper there. Or what if we made those the middle? I was actually thinking of those last the, the last batch for the middle. So let's put these up front ish. Oh, the Artie Mays ones can just be folded in half. That's going to be cute there. Okay. And then these, like, I'm going to fold this one right there. And I think, I think these are more, probably more meant for, like, journaling cards or something. But, so I may have to put some some fun little edgings on them or something, but um, ew, I like that too much together as it is. So let's just let's do this one here. Okay. So like I say, they're close to the same, the signatures, but not quite. Yeah, so this one has been quite the, quite the adventure so far. <laughs> Um, decided those need to be there. Maybe I'll put that there. Uh, anyway, I couldn't believe how well constructed that book was. Jeez, I was so nervous because, I mean, it's not my book. Uh, Donna sent it to me to, to make her a uh, journal out of it, and so it's like, eek. I'm hoping I don't ruin this <laughs> book, but it all turned out just fine. This is fine right here. Those are a little tall. I might have to take a little skosh off the top of those. Not these ones, but the already made ones. Gosh, that, that one is pretty much in half. But it's got little blank spots here, so that'll be fun. I can do something fun there. Oh, this one's perfect right there. Okay. Happy, happy. Getting these little signatures done. And, um... Oh, I pulled out some old music too. I gotta remember because I wanted to show you guys that because it's really a cool old book. And ask your opinion on something with it too. But let's do those other pages really quick, Lack. Um, whoops. Okay. So I can move the signatures for a minute while we're cutting. Got to look at this phone and make sure it's, yep, it's recording. That's good. Oh my gosh. I was like, no. Because <laughs> of course I blathered on. I think I had already filmed for like 23 minutes. I was like, darn it. <laughs> oh gosh. But that's right. That's the worst thing that happens to me today. It's going to be a pretty good day, I guess. So, um, so yeah, I found a couple of really fun little ephemera items, but I just, I feel like I have a lot more that I want to go through before I do you know, start working on the camera stuff. I know I want to do a, um, let me hold it this way. Yeah. Um, anyway, I have a lot more to go through because I, oh, 
only got through a little bit and um you know this this is kind of it's a fun subject matter love and all that you know <laughs> it's like making a valentine's book but not really you know okay i like to save those okay so this one we want we want this part to be in our book Pretty rose at the bottom there. That's cute too. With the, it's almost looks like it's denim. Oh, wait! I heard you. Were you yelling at me? Because we were going to do these as the middle of the signature. Good job, guys. Thanks for yelling at me. Thanks for yelling at me. So I want this to be the inside. Oh my goodness, what would I do without ya? <laughs> and you think I don't hear you. <laughs> yes, I do. I do hear you. Okay, so I'm in a good place to put my bone folder while I'm cutting here. Um, yeah, it's nice to use some of this paper too that... I've had for a while in my stash from my store closing, you know. Okay, so this one, I wanted this part to be what we see. Oh my gosh, look at that. Eight inches is right on the line of those. Lucky. That's awesome. So this, I could either use those as a journaling card or whatever but so I want that to be the middle I'm not going to embellish it because then she can see all the all the stuff yay that's fun so I don't know if you're watching Donna but if you are comment on these videos because I want to know how you think I'm doing <laughs> Unless you think something that I've done isn't good, then don't tell me because <laughs> I'm just going for it here. He gave me a few guidelines and then said, go for it. So uh, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Okay, so this one doesn't have anything, so we don't need to worry about, you know, what's going to show or anything. So I'm kind of thinking this one, I think we'll do this as the middle and we might want to do something to decorate the middle of that signature. Because they don't all have to be the same by any means. It's just, okay, this one, I was kind of thinking about... One, two, three. Actually, I'm having another. Th I'm having another thought hit me. So let's. Ooh, that's pretty on the back side. We'll save that. Okay, I like. I think I like the hat and the cards the best, and I like this up at the top. So we'll cut that to be our page. Okay, so I think I want this to be the inside. Wow, this is thick paper. It is interesting the different thicknesses, isn't it? This guy just is white on the other side, so I don't know that I want him. I think he's just going to be a random page in there. He's not going to be the middle. Because we can do that, right? Make that decision for ourselves. Okay. Okay. 
Alrighty then, this one, no particular way that it goes, so we'll just go this way. I do love that floral dog so that's going to be the middle of that one. Okay, so middle pages. And then this one is going to just be a page. Uh, just be a page. <laughs> just a page. So maybe... We'll maybe just see where it looks fun and put it there. Okay, so let's do this and grab our signatures. Okay, so what do we want where? So I'm thinking that one kind of in the middle-ish. Yeah, okay. Same this pretty pink one. Maybe it'll just be the first signature. Look how pretty that's going to be. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll just pop along from there. I know you guys have watched me put signatures together, but I have, I've been so busy doing journals. I haven't had time to like set up a video of something new to teach or anything like that. I've just been, I've just been turning it on <laughs> when, when I'm working down here. So I, I hope that's, hope that's okay with you guys. And you're just not tired of watching me do the same thing. I mean, truly. Doing journals is pretty repetitive, you know. I mean, some of the steps anyway. Okay, so we, I kind of want that cardinal one to be kind of a fun surprise. Maybe. Just looking to see if there was some paper that it just really went with, but I think I'm going to do it this way and put it there and we can do some decorating on that. Okay. Just wanted to be sure to include it, you know? So... Okay, so that one is just going to be right in here. Just happy little red cardinals. Okay, so I'll do not mess up these signatures. Okay. I need to trim those, but I'll do that off camera. Um, do we want to look at these? Let's see, where are we at time-wise? We're good. Okay, so let's pick six of these out. I know I want, where is it, this one. I think that's super cute. So that one, and then... Bugs. These have a little topper on them that needs to get off of there. I think I can probably do about three of these at a time without 
making my cutter angry. with these papers is do we want to go in half or do we want to go you know not in half <laughs> do we want to go in half or do we want to go I don't know but it's fun because these have these have two sides to them too So, where do, where would they look fun? Maybe here, maybe on that. Kind of like this, this one there. Okay, so now the question is, I think we'll just do in half. I did some other, I think these are like 8 by 8 or something, and I did some other ones. Where's my, what did I do with my bone folder, guys? Can you shout it out? Yep, there it is. Sorry, you couldn't see it, so you were of no help. <laughs> these are just fun papers I'm excited I think I'll maybe put a few more coffee dyed ones in there though um, okay and this one oh I love that I can't mess with that so maybe on here how about this floral one. Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, anyway, <laughs> I don't know what I was talking about. I totally lost my train, but, but this is fun, and, and um, maybe I can get some ephemera kind of collected together and figured out before tomorrow and do a little video tomorrow, too. Um, I think we might do this one in there. Okay, we'll do this one. Okay. The fun thing about like these pages are um, is that they're all, you know, all sorts of different colors. So maybe this one here. Um, so you can use whatever colors you want of decorative paper, which is fun. And then next I'm going to grab that music book and then I, and I have a question for you on that. What she was, oh yeah, now I remember what it was. <laughs> Which was, and I'm not sure. Let's see. Can this be kind of fun in there? Ooh, there's lots of colors going on. The ants, I could put the ants in there. out on itself. Okay, and last signature. Let's 
to that. Will that be the same? That will be the same though. I'll show you in a second. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to put it in here. And so, yeah. Okay, that is fun. Yay. Alrighty then. So next, I want to look at this... Um, music paper and I'll show you this look at this book you guys this is I got this at a, an estate sale I think um, let's see the book is it looks like about 13 by 10 and so and it's got oh it's so falling apart but it's got um, music in it. I was looking to see if there was a copyright on it. I don't think so. But it's got some, it's got some really, look at how yellowed and fun those are. And somewhere in here, it's got some really cool, look at that. It's so cool. These are heavy though, and I know she wants to do almost like scrapbooking in it. So those are written on like somebody's somebody's done their musical exercises on it. And this is all in German, I think. Ooh, those are so brittle. Yeah, I think these thicker pages would be better for this. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So I'm going to take some of these pages out to use in this book. But my question for you is, look, they're just falling out as, as is. So, so my question for you is the cover. You know, I've been thinking about doing some glue books my friend Diane H she had some on her channel that she sold and I tried to get one I wasn't quick enough and she's thinking about doing some but I was thinking of having that on my list too because I just have a lot of papers and stuff that it'd be fun to just put you know a whole bunch of different papers in that could be glued over the top or not or whatever so I'm thinking about, but my question for you is, and if you don't mind commenting below and let me know what you think, is the 13 by 10, is, is this cover too big for that? It's so cool and old and, um, and it's thick. The spine is trashed, but I could use the two covers I was thinking for one of those. So anyway, just let me know what you think. Let me know what you think because, um, because you know, heaven knows I need more projects. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't need more projects, but I keep thinking of more that I want to do. Okay. Here's one that's music and music on both sides. So let's see how this is going to come out pretty easily. Yeah, this paper is, that paper is thicker and not so brittle. So this has music on both sides. So I want to get six of these. Yeah, and then I could use some of those cool um, pages, just leave them in this book too, you know. Put a couple pages together and um, you know washi tape the spine or something I think it could be kind of cool 
but let me know what you think. Okay, there's four, right? One, two, three, four. A couple more. Oh, good, they're just kind of all right here together, the ones with double sided music. And one more. Perfect. Awesome. Well, I will be excited to see what you think. Because the back is the back is cool too. I mean it's it shows signs of age, but to me that just makes it even all the more cool. And I could easily just take it apart right there, I think. So anyway. Tell me if you think that's uh, a good idea or not or whatever. And these guys, we got to cut down a good bit, I think. So this way, I mean, they're close to fitting, but I'd want them a little bit. I hate to cut off too much because that's the pretty yellowed part, you know, but eight inches is basically the music. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to cut off the white space. That's all right. Um, I'm going to have to cut down, cut them down to even fit in here, aren't I? Yep. So we better cut... This way first. I'll just line them up on that line on my trimmer. Not quite on that line on my trimmer because there's kind of some cool writing there. All right. And then we're going to go right at the music. Okay, where am I at? Okay, that's about 12. This is about 8. Yep, less. Perfect. Awesome. So we can put these in. What the hell are we doing time-wise? Oh, we are getting there, aren't we? So, yes. These, uh, <laughs> these were, let's see, what do we have? We have, not counting the little book, two, four, I won't count that half page, six, eight, 10. This will be 11. I don't know. I mean, I think I'll put in some more um, coffee dyed and stuff. So I think these will end up with about 15 pages per uh, per signature. Yeah, that's nice paper. That's going to be great. She was wanting it kind of girly, so I think I've got I've got some lace attaching that needs to be done. And yeah, and then I'll show you. I grabbed I grabbed these envelopes. They're all about the same size and um One's a little smaller, this white one's a little smaller, but 
Um, and I'm thinking about maybe doing a little decorating on those. I also thought about doing a faux front on them, but that's a lot for to do six. <laughs> so, I don't know. But maybe. I wonder if we could knock them out. Because what I was thinking is if I did a faux front on them, then she could tuck pictures in here. So, so let me know what you think about that, too. I mean, I could do it. I could do it. I could... We could do a craft with me and see how many I could get done in an hour. That'd be kind of fun. Maybe we will do that. Thanks, as always, for letting me talk through things. <laughs> My sounding boards, you guys are. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I was talking and not realizing I was folding. I was like, I don't think I have six here. <laughs> So, okay, well, maybe that's the next thing we'll do is do, because I have all these strips that I could put in as half sheets, but I've already got half sheets in there. So we could do, yeah, we could do full friend envelopes, or at least do a couple. I think that would be nice, though, to have... Not that big of a one, but to have um, a pocket that she could put some pictures in. Okay, we'll do it. We'll do it. Alrighty, let's see. Where do we want the music? Doesn't really matter, does it? But I think that would look cool right there because once it's open, look how fun that is. Yep. <laughs> My, my way of deciding where to put things is not very scientific. <laughs> it's like, oh, I like how that looks. Okay. I think this cross from the butterflies would be fun. Right? Yep. Again, we've got the butterflies. Let's just make sure that's where we want it. I think that's good. Yeah. So I can tell my husband here in a few that he can come watch football and I will trim these down. Those need to be trimmed down and kind of get ready for tomorrow maybe, huh? I want that across from there. Goodness, I can't get a hold of this one for some reason. Yeah. And let's put it in between here because there's a lot of blank going on there. Going to be more blanks in here because I, I want to get a little more coffee dyed paper in there. Or at least paper that she can write on, you know. Okay, guys. Well, you helped me get a good ways on these. Let's see how they look in the book now. Yeah. It's a lot it's a lot fuller now and with embellishing and stuff so I'm not sure well you know coffee dyed paper doesn't take up that much although these envelopes what I was thinking of doing is putting them like on a on an edge like this so they almost become another page don't they I have to do them on one of the longer ones though I like this or something and yeah it almost becomes like another page so I don't know maybe a couple of 
coffee dyed papers and call it good, I think. So thanks everybody for crafting with me. Um, I hope you're excited about my new project. I really am. So let's see the two things on the comments. If you'll let me know if you think that music book is okay as far as like a glue book size or too big. And then also if you'll let me know what you think. Oh, I was going to ask you about the faux friend envelopes, but we kind of already decided that we're going to do that next. So that's awesome. Okay, well, let me know about the music book and we'll go from there. So thanks everybody so much for watching and we'll just see you next time. Bye bye.